There's another kind of stirring going on in the Arab world on behalf of women in Saudi Arabia who are forbidden to drive a car. This may not look like radical activity, but in Saudi Arabia today, women got behind the wheel in a drive for new freedoms. Videos posted on YouTube showed several women driving in Riyadh and other cities in direct violation of a religious ban in the conservative Muslim kingdom. This is what we want to do. We do not want to count on other drivers. I need to go to my work, and if I need anything, I can drive myself. I think the community is ready to accept us and welcome us as drivers. For weeks, activists using social networking had urged Saudi women with international driving licenses to turn out for today's Women to Drive effort. The protest was sparked last month by this woman, Manal al-Sharif, who posted a video of herself driving in Riyadh. We say a saying in Arabic, the rain starts with a drop. So this thing is really symbolic thing for us women driving. Al-Sharif was detained for 10 days and forced to sign a document promising not to drive again. Still, her case sparked worldwide interest. On Thursday, Amnesty International urged the Saudis to drop the driving ban and reconsider a whole range of other measures aimed at women. It's part of a web of legislation and, and bans and restrictions on women that, that, that basically mean that they're second-class citizens. So in the same way that women are not allowed without the permission of a male guardian to travel, uh, they're not allowed without the permission, permission of a male guardian to enroll in higher education, to take up paid work, uh, and uh, they're not allowed to vote in elections. You've got a very safe capable driver behind the wheel. Today, at least, Saudi security forces mostly stood by as the driving <laughs> protest got rolling. It remained unclear what, if any, action the authorities might ultimately take.